Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about shuffle method in collections. So inside the main method, I've created a list and added some elements in particular order to this list. So once the elements are added, I'm going to print in the console. Then here, I'm going to call collections dot shuffle method. So this method is helpful for changing the order of the numbers that have been added. It is exactly opposite to sorting. So if we go inside this method, what they're doing is like they are taking the list and then they're creating a random and then they're shuffling it. We can also provide a random object on our own, but if we don't provide, they create the random object and then they are shuffling the order of the elements. Here you can see there are two APIs. One is shuffle which accepts the list and other one list plus the random object. So you can also provide this random object. So when I run this program, you can see the sorted numbers are printed here. And then the second line, you can see the shuffled numbers are printed. It's good to know there is a shuffle method inside the collections class. Hope this small information is helpful. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to NTV.channel. Thank you.